Hi everyone, this is Amy from Create, Decorate, Educate, and today we're gonna to be working on a sunflower farmhouse theme bulletin board and classroom decor. So I'm gonna get started on the bulletin board, then we'll do a couple DIYs, I'll style up the classroom, and hopefully it'll inspire you. Okay, so today I already put up the back to our bulletin board, and the backing is just fabric. I got this from Walmart. It is two yards of the Waverly. My bulletin board is 36 going up, 48 going across. So three feet by four feet. I still have plenty left. So one yard, if you're using border, would probably be enough. So if this is about, I don't know, about $7, something like that at Walmart. So, okay. So today what we're going to do is we're going to start with the edge of the border. And I'm going to show you how I style it and some little tips along the way. So I like to use thumbtacks in the beginning just so I can situate everything before I start stapling. So when you're, because when you're using a bunch of bulletin board borders, um, if just to rip all of them out because something doesn't line up is frustrating and I know you know that. So I will just tack this in place real quick This is another reason why I tack it. I'm going to take a um, like a little marker, and what I'm going to do is miter the corners. So I just think it gives like a really updated look, and I think it looks a little bit more sophisticated. I don't know. That's just my preference. You could just leave it like that, and it would be perfectly fine. So I take, but if you would like to do it the way I do it, I just take um, a black marker and I put it where these two corners meet. And basically, what I'm going to do is cut a line from this, this to this. Okay, so I'm gonna just leave this up here. Take my scissors and cut a line. And as you can see, I'm just doing the two edges like that, right? And then what you wanna do is push it so it meets, okay. I love that. I'm sorry, but I love that. The, I love the way that these lines, like they um, meet together. Perfect. Actually, I'm going to staple that in place now because that's good. Good to go. I don't need to, and I'm going to make sure that I staple it um, on the edge. So I have enough room to tuck in. So see how this is? It's okay. I'll get that later. All right. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side, taking my marker, finding where these two points meet on the top layer, okay? So on the top layer, you might, I just make like a little dot. I put a little dot here at the very corner. And now you see why this one had to go all the way down. Because if you had any space, it was too short, then you wouldn't be able to, um, you would have background showing and that's not what you want. Okay, so take this, move it on over. I'm gonna go from this dot, like I said, all the way to that dot. So those two seconds, that just that extra piece really just frames it. And I love how it makes that, um, it looks almost like a picture frame. into the next one. Step back and take a look at your work. Love it. 
I love that. I think this looks great. Okay, so what I would like to do is add in um, some color and I'm also want to put in a banner. Okay, so I found this on Teachers Pay Teachers. Okay, it is just a welcome banner. As you can see, the two the two um, letters come to an, they come to in a page. I cut out some of them. You can find so much on Teachers Pay Teachers. They're amazing designers. And I'm gonna now do the other two. Very easy. I printed this on white cardstock. It makes a difference. Don't print it on printer paper because eventually with humidity and everything else, it's going to curl up. You're going to see the background. White cardstock really just makes a big difference. Throw that on the floor. <laughs> Clean it up later. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put what I want on the bulletin board first. Then I'm going to embellish. All right. So... All right, so the word welcome, W-E-L-C-O-M-E, -E, has seven letters. So you want, the fourth one is gonna be the one that's in the middle. So you have three on one side and three on the other. So W-E-L-C, the C is going to be my middle. All right. Like the way this looks um, and before I staple it I know that I'm gonna be using some um, some jute rope so this is from I don't know, it could be from Walmart probably from Walmart you can get by the Dollar Tree um, so I really to tie in that farmhouse look I'm going to use this jute rope so the thing is though is the reason why I didn't do this first is because they it's difficult if it's already glued on here, it's really difficult to center it and have everything right. So get your letters up the way you want and then we're just gonna feed this in. Yeah. Okay, so I thought that going with that farmhouse theme, it needed just a little bit something else in um, that bottom corner. So I had these crates from Dollar Tree. I just love the way they, these look. And I wanted to put two together to make like a little flower box. Now, I had done this before on a previous project and I stained it um, with, I just basically took some acrylic paint, um, watered it down and brushed it on. And that's really all I did. Okay, so I think I'm gonna keep this one natural, but you can certainly stain it if you would like. And then um, I'll show you the trick to making sure it stays on the bulletin board. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is attach these two. I'm just gonna use simple hot glue. You can use wood glue, you can use whatever. You can use whatever, I like the hot glue. It just sets up quickly. All right. Okay, so just want that to set up. And then I'm going to take this old floral foam that I had, I used in a previous project. I am going to cut this in half. I probably got this at the Dollar Tree too. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little hot glue and put this in the bottom here. take this same um, bouquet of sunflowers that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut them off of the stem with my wire cutters. Don't use your regular scissors because you'll ruin them. 
sometimes if you kind of wiggle them back and forth, they will, the metal will come apart also if you don't have wire cutters. Okay, so from here, I'm just going to kind of just put them in. Okay. So I would probably, I would probably put one more right here if I had it, um, but no big deal. So how are we going to get this to stick onto the bulletin board? This is my favorite hack and my favorite trick. All right. So you're going to take the back where it's going to go into the bulletin board and you're going to take some push pins. I recommend using um, E6000 or just some permanent glue but that takes some time to set up. You really want that to set up like overnight. And I just wanted for uh, video purposes to show you. I've never tried it with hot glue. It might work. Okay, for the next DIY, I am going to take these clothes pins and I'm going to attach them to the pennant banner. But instead of leaving them the natural wood, I'm gonna use washi tape just to dress them up a little bit and coordinate with it. So washi tape is very thin. It has um, an adhesive backing. It goes on clean, it comes off clean, and it does not leave a sticky residue and it tears very easily. So really all you have to do is take your clothespin, put your washi tape on. I just fold it down and you get a whole new look.